their good traits would go on and on. For instance, they loved their religion as them, their family and friends, and their country Palestine weren't anything in this world. They were loved wherever they went. People were drawn to their presence. They were the most valuable thing we had, and I feel that that this is a huge test from God to take two of our favorites away. A week and a half has a week has passed since the incident, and my emotions are so elevated. I miss them so much. I'm sad sometimes. I'm angry, I'm all, but I'm mostly hopeful for the, that their place will be in heaven now, in the afterlife, being in peace and joy. I just keep thinking of how their murderer could look at Hosman and Fadis's innocent faces and shoot them. How did he do that? What kind of person could look at Fadis and want to hurt him? Why is this person that robbed before allowed to do it again so viciously? Why is this evil intended human just walking around ready to kill two amazing souls for something as worthless as money? He may have taken two people, but he has left scars in the minds of thousands, minds and hearts of thousands. He should have never, he should never be allowed to do this again. He must be fulfilled, fulfilled with his life and death to the society for what the pain he has caused. We may begin to understand what happened, but we will never forget it. This is why we have full confidence that our, our government will sentence this man to the fullest extent of the law. For what he for taking away these two innocent souls.